I'm an astronomer, and I've always been fascinated with space. One of my earliest memories involves being at a school book fair when I was five or six years old and picking up a picture book containing photographs of Jupiter and its moons. The Voyager spacecraft had just arrived at Jupiter and returned the most stunning images of the four Galilean moons. I can still remember pictures of the moon Io in this book, with its volcanoes and intense orange and yellow colors. This little moon, just slightly larger than Earth's moon, should have been geologically dead, a gray cratered world similar to our own moon. Instead, it presented a beautiful, chaotic, changing landscape that absolutely intrigued me as a child, and I was hooked. As an astronomer, I often wonder why God created objects like the moon Io. If you really think about it, there's no reason for our solar system to consist of anything more than a sun, a moon, and an earth. So why put eight planets around the sun instead of one? Why create exotic moons like Io around the giant planets? Why create Pluto and his friends in the Kuiper Belt? As I've studied God's creations in the heavens, I've come to believe that all of God's creations serve a purpose and exist for a reason. When Moses asked God to tell him why these things are so, God's response was, For mine own purpose have I made these things. Here is wisdom, and it remaineth in me. We may not know the whys of all of God's creations, but each of God's vast creations is a reminder that He is in charge, that there is a divine plan, and that we are here on this earth for a much greater purpose than what the world was espoused.